Hello, welcome back to Sunny Talk Spurs, and today I've just got in, literally through the door, and decided to record this video straight off the bat, a little bit later than after the kickoff, but I wanted to react to it straight away. Obviously, Tottenham's 2 1 home loss to Aston Villa at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Before I get into this one, if you are new to the channel, please leave a like, subscribe to Sunday Talk Spurs and hit the notification bell because it lets you know when I've gone live. Now, let's react to the game. And honestly, as I say, I've just got in. I don't know how to react. I don't know what I feel after this game because all in all, I'll be brutally honest, I thought we played quite well. And I've titled this video, Should Spurs Fans Be Worried? And I'll be honest, I don't think we should because I've had a conversation on the train home as well with a Spurs fan who was a season ticket holder, a little bit of an older gentleman as well, and he seemed worried. He thinks we should be defensive and sit back a bit more. But I'll be honest, don't think he's seen Ange ball before because I think we need to be more, you know, coherent and more backing this style of football. Ange ball is the way forward for Tottenham Hotspur. We obviously saw it today in all its glory and it just pains you to see as a Tottenham fan that the potential of what could be but how we are currently playing. You know, this Villa team, don't get me wrong, are a very, very good outfit. They play some absolutely fantastic football and we saw today, you know, two chances, two goals from a set piece how Torres puts them level. And then from, you know, a passage of play where Ollie Watkins plays a cheeky one to uh, makes it 2-1. And Watkins is the difference, you know, a out-and-out -out striker who can finish his dinner. Whereas at the moment with Spurs, we're creating all the chances. We had so, so many chances. We hit the post twice with Kulisevsky and Poro respectively in the first and second half. Uh, you know, how many times was Sun offside? We obviously went 1-0 up in spectacular fashion with Giovanni Lo Celso. I thought he was very, very good this game. Very, very impressed by Lo Celso. Um, I actually said before kickoff, I think Lo Celso didn't want him to start. Um, don't think he has a future at the club. I mean, I echo these thoughts with... Um, Dave from the Irish Hotspur. If you obviously little plug here, if you want to check out the podcast I'm on with them weekly, go and check that out. It is usually out on a Thursday. Uh, cheeky plug. Uh, but apart from that, I just am a bit perplexed with just just Tottenham at the moment. It, it's all there. It's maybe we have, as I say, the title should be we be worried, but I'm not worried, even though this is our. Third loss on the spin. It's, um, I think actually my dad told me, it's we've become the first team to leave three games, 1-0 or so, and lose um, from those winning positions. So another one for the trophy cabinet for Spurs. Um, but I'm not worried because it's all there. It's just I would rather, and I keep saying this to neutral fans, Spurs fans, everyone. Last year, some of the football we watched was diabolical. Even um, I had a debate in the TalkSport office this week with a few colleagues. They A, f a few colleagues thought that... Um, would The question was, would Haaland have scored 30 goals like Kane did last season? And I unanimously said no. Because as much as Haaland is a good goal scorer, he is not good at Kane or how linking up the play. And that just goes to show how bad of football we were playing last season. But now we are playing some absolutely exquisite football under Ange Postecoglou. I think he's the perfect manager for Tottenham Hotspur to bring back attacking football to this club. But at the moment, we are just a shell of an outfit. And it was, you know, put to, you know, it was made apparent today after Rodrigo Benton calls injury. He started the game fantastically. You know, he's not fully match fit. He might not be fully fit, but he was chucked in at the deep end. And we saw, like, he was making the game tick in the number six. I said that he should play the number six on the Irish Hotspur podcast. But gets injured off a tackle of Matty Cash, which I thought was very suspect, to be fair. Lucky to stay on the pitch after that one. But, yeah, after that, it made me, you know, he goes off injured and the team loses another part of its creative edge. 
Um, we struggle after that. We bring on Hoybier, who I thought had an okay game, but he's not the player that we need at the moment in that position. Ollie Skip came on for Lacelso late in the day. Again, don't think he's up to scratch. Brian Hill, is he good enough for Spurs? I don't think so. Brennan, Brennan Johnson, I should say. You know, very... I feel like he didn't have his best game, but I don't know if he was able to have his best game, if you get what I mean. Sun didn't have a sniff. I feel like... A lot of today, what I saw was... Um, it was frustration, but it was a lot of overplay. And maybe just needs... You know, a couple of these players need to know when to pull the trigger. But I'll be honest, to, to some positives now. With a makeshift back line of four fullbacks, I should say, I thought... Davis and Emerson have shown that they're good enough to play at the back for Tottenham. Dyer has probably played his last game for Spurs after that. Poro was okay, but I, I, I feel like his set pieces need to be improved on. Destiny Adogi, probably not his best game, not his worst game. Vicario, some people questioning Vicario actually, I saw. Um, he's positioning for the free kick. Um, could he have done better with the Ollie Watkins goal as well? Not sure. Villa are a good team. i got to say this as well. Villa are a good team. We knew this run of Villa, City, West Ham and Newcastle would be tricky. But not the best way to start, especially after back-to-back -back losses. You know, three losses in a row. And Posikoglu, the manager of the month, three on the bounce. Uh, curse is full in swing, but enough of that. Um, I just feel like I'm positive after that game. I'm still... I feel like we're unlucky. We should not be walking away. That's not a 2-1 loss game. We should have should have been really up early in the first half. We had so many chances. As I say, I was at the stadium, just got back, and I was on the edge of the, my seat. That's the second game I've gone to this season. I went to United. I've obviously been to that game today, and it's just such, such exciting football. We are playing so, so well. But after that, in reflection... I still back Andy. He's just such a good manager. I just, I just love how we play. I can't fault the guy. We need more investment. We need to improve um, in other regards. We're just a bit unlucky at the moment. You know, we need Romero back. We need a prop because I noticed that from a lot of um, the corners and the set pieces, we've got no aerial presence defensively or offensively when we're attacking either corners. So that's a bit of an annoyance. Even though Emerson and Davis, I thought were quite well. Ignore this, Alexa. Alexa, stop. Ignore that. Uh, that sounds like my dinner's ready. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, obviously Manchester City next. Um, how do I see that going? I think they're going to muller, muller us. Muller? Muller? One or the other. Muller? Muller corner? Put us in the corner. But, yeah, uh, that's going to be somewhat of a game. Um, dread to think what the scoreline's going to be of that. But... I'm not going to let all that out of the bag yet because, little plug towards this as well, uh, I will be getting Mr. Kieran Carlin, a good friend of mine, on the channel to preview that game. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one. And, you know, here's what it is after today. You've got to back Big Ange. You've got to back all the way. Obviously, we've got to keep on this train and really support the club. But as I said at the beginning of the video, if you have enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell because it lets you know when I've gone live. That's my Villa review. And I'll see you again pretty soon, as I say, for a City preview probably. Or some other video during the week. See you later.